All right, I got time today for one more Soul Made Energy short. This time around, these are shorts. They're about six, six minutes, seven minutes on the top side, something like that. There's all a playlist of these. I'm trying to build the playlist a little bit. They're a way for me to sort of fill in, answer some quick questions, help, help you, help me, help everybody. Uh, it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, you found Steve's Love Tarot, you found it for a reason. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. I still have to shuffle. So I will tell you what I'm shuffling on as I shuffle. The Witches here. I've got the Witches deck for this one. I love this deck. Uh, where is it? I'm doing a fly on the wall. I want to find out what's going on. I'm picking, There's a lot. I pulled one of these shorts earlier. There was a surprise element in the energy. And boy, surprise party indeed with that little read. But uh, I want to do a fly on the wall here and find out what's going on because there's also a, uh, what I call a, a dark spot or a ripple in the energy. In other words, I don't know, in the energies right now on the side that's away from the soulmate cycle, the side that faces whatever's going on in your person's life, it's an equal and opposite reaction to how they feel about you. And I've been, that's been coming up in extended readings, and it's been coming up. It came up in that surprise reading today. It was at least implied there. Let's find out. Let's see. Uh, so give me a fly on the wall, universe. What's going on? Uh, no clarifying here. It's just three cards and a bottom card. <sighs> yeah. I'm not going to show you the bottom card yet. The bottom card is crossing the center card here. Okay? Death. Every time. Every time I do a fly on the wall, it's fucking hilarious. Eight cups. Look, it, it, what did I just tell you? What did I tell you in the beginning? I felt a ripple. Look, the laws of physics apply. Equal and opposite reaction. Right? It's a law of physics. They have a lot of love toward you. Queen of Cups, as it, as it turns out, the most love I can pull from a deck in this surprise energy reading, this short that I did earlier today. So I pull on, I'm pulling on the other side of it now. And the other side of it is bye-bye. No love. Look at this shit. Death, eight of cups, and the four of cups. Red center, left, right. I'll show you the bottom card in a minute. There, this is someone walking away from eight broken cups. They broken. Walking toward their happiness. Transforming into nine cups. This is a card of transformation. It's red with this. This right here, somebody wants love. That's why in the earlier short, that Queen of Cups, surprise, is given the cup of love. And, and that's why a soulmate is coming your way. Go watch the short I did earlier for the surprise element in the energy. The surprise on their side is I'm gone to somebody or something or some way they've been living, which is void of all love. They've lost all. They're disappointed by it. They want to transform that. All right, so they walk away toward their happiness, toward nine cups, a wish fulfilled. That explains the Queen of Cups in the earlier short. This Eight of Cups, by the way, is crossed by the Ten of Wands, a card that if you were paying attention, what I say, and I did a uh, three quick cards with me the other day. I, I, I shared with you my offline reading online, and I said the card that we're looking for, in anyone's reading, mine or anyone's, but definitely mine, is the Ten of Wands. And there it is. That's the, that's, we're waiting for the moment with this person where this, these sticks get too fucking heavy for them to carry. Too heavy. And it just they just throw them down on the ground. That moment is coming up fast in the energy because with each passing day here in April, as we move toward the eclipse, we get more and more into the new core energy cycle. And we know that that core energy cycle is forcing decisions. You can't be wishy-washy in it. We also have Saturn square in the north node, forcing decisions. There's a lot of burden. So fly on the wall. I'm not clarifying, but fly on the wall here in this little short. What's going on on their side? A lot of heaviness, a lot of burden, a lot of heavy on their mind about walking away from it because they want to transform the lack of love into love. Okay? That's, it's as simple as that. This reading ties with the earlier short I did. This is simply the other side of it. This is the B side to the earlier energy short that I did about the surprise energy. There you go. It's all timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. If you're watching this in 2028, that's fine. It's perfectly fine. That's your reading. 
I'll hope it was helpful. <laughs> Always get this when we pull a fly on the wall on their side. It's unreal. It's not a coincidence anymore. It's, 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 it's hundreds of readings at this point. That's, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right. Good luck, you guys.